if I if I could sum up Enchanted Forest in in one word, it would probably be uh, personal. Uh, because you know you you go to the ski area and and the guy renting you the skis might be the owner, <laughs> or your ski lesson might be the owner, or, the, or your ski patrol might be the owner if it's the right day. And Amarillo in a windowless office, crunching numbers all day long. Really wasn't too fond of it. So finally I just said to Judy, the heck with it, let's go to Red River. <laughs> then, uh, Gary Starbuck approached me about buying a beginner ski area, which is over here behind us called Powder Puff Mountain. So I left the mine and went into the ski business. We bought Powder Puff and we operated it from 71 to 79. And then the Red River Ski Area bought it from us. And I started a little cross-country ski operation at Powder Puff back in those days. In fact, we have a book in, in there published or uh, written by Lester Lewis that has a photograph in there of me wearing knickers and D socks and my cross-country gear of the day. We were also members of the Cross Country Ski Areas Association, which is an association of areas of the United States and Canada. And we went to a convention that spring, uh, spring of 85, I guess, and went to a big area called Royal Gorge. And so I was so impressed with a groomed area. I came back and, and essentially I grew up up here. And I knew about the area where Enchanted Forest was to be and went all over it with a map and a compass. And I said, well, this could be made into a groomed area. Start of the area, we, we only had 10 kilometers in the beginning. Um, so it, uh, it has grown quite a lot since then. We actually have had people from Sweden and uh, Norway and Switzerland tell us that this is the nicest ski, cross country ski area they've ever been to, which is such a tremendous uh, endorsement. If you could sum up your ski area in one word or one sentence, what would it be? I'd say enchanting. <laughs> That's what I was going to say.